In this film we're going to be looking at adding and removing symmetry from T-spline surfaces. Now you can see that I'm already in the T-spline surfacing environment, so I'll add a box by selecting up here, choosing a plane to build my box on and a point to build my box around. In the box creation dialog you can see that we have options to add symmetry in each of these directions. As we hover over you can see there's an indicator there showing me which direction we're looking at. So we have the length, the width and the height. And I'm going to choose the length here. I'll choose OK. And you can see the symmetry line is indicated by this slightly greyer loop. Now when I edit something, let's grab this point, you can see that I will also be editing the same point on the other side of the symmetry line. And I'll choose Done to finish that edit. Now maybe we've had enough of that symmetry and want to start creating some asymmetrical objects, so we want to remove that symmetry. And we do that using the Edit Form, Clear Symmetry tool, and then selecting on the Freeform Body, which has symmetry we'd like to remove. Now we've removed the symmetry, maybe we need to add symmetry back in. And we can do that using the Freeform tool, Edit Form, Symmetry. We select one face on one side of the symmetry line, and one face on the other, and that will rebuild that line of symmetry for us. Now I'm going to choose Cancel here because I want to show you one other interesting property of the Symmetry tool. I'll come back up to Edit Form. I'll choose Symmetry. Now this time I'm going to choose a face on one side of this line and a face on the other. And I want you to watch carefully what happens here. You can see that not only has Inventor added a symmetry line for us there, it's actually rebuilt that surface to make it symmetrical around that line. So that's a pretty handy application and kind of slightly hidden feature of the symmetry tool. So I'm going to choose OK there. I'm going to finish my freeform edit. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. 